I'm here because uh, because I believe the only way to get our government to recognize that there's something wrong, truly wrong with what's going on, is by uh, civil is through civil disobedience, which is how the greats all did it. You know, Martin Luther King, Gandhi. If they're not gonna listen. You have to you have to make them listen. Unfortunately, it is their job to represent the people, and I don't feel that they've been properly represented. Uh, whether it's you know banks illegally foreclosing on homes, or laws being passed to benefit corporations instead of people, like there's a lot of issues. And media keeps asking like, what's your goal? What's your what are your goals? We have a lot of goals. The point of this is unification. The people get together, they recognize that there's a problem, and we talk about solutions and how we can and how we can possibly solve this. And, but. Um, there's not enough awareness about what's going on and sometimes the only way to to make people aware is if you know they see like it's all these campsites you know they get shocked they're like what's going on right in the middle of the government center and uh, yeah that's basically why I'm here I wanted and I saw the movement was going on and I and I saw that it was a global thing and I thought hey this, this is what I've been waiting for like something that something where you know something might actually happen you know like I truly believe in this I believe we're going to make a change, whether it's uh, indirectly or directly through this, but this has to happen. Um, the feeling here is um, is one of like brotherhood, kind of like you when you have to live with people for a long time and kind of depend on people. We're kind of learning to trust each other, and um, I think that's a really big thing. And uh, what's happening as far as the outside looking in, and maybe those people who have all of this wealth kind of looking like I'm kind of hoping that they're sweating a little bit and they're kind of realizing that hey like maybe the people aren't totally ignorant to what's going on and maybe they do kind of have hope about you know kind of they're getting their voices out there and getting something done so I think that's basically what's happening the boss, you know who's the boss who's running things I don't I don't know but I, I think there's there's a lot of criminals that are kind of at the top of the loop that need to be brought to light and kind of face what's uh, what's going on. The physical, the physical occupation is important in that um, it's a it's a civil disobedience. It's an outward like you know active disobedience because we believe that our voices weren't heard. So it's in, it's important that the people see that and now they've been shocked and they see like wow look at all these people you know they have homes to go back to and they have jobs but they're here occupying because because they believe that there's no other way like but to you know do what they're doing so it's 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 very important that people camp here but not everybody can do it and you know what that's okay because our network isn't only the people that are here it's uh it's everybody who sees what's going on and it's everybody who tries to donate one way or another it's anybody who talks who has a conversation with somebody else at their job say hey did you hear what happened what's going on in new york and the rest of the world um you know there's an occupation and just that spreads the word so just that the actual occupation has happened is very important and we're trying to get as many people out here as we possibly can but not everybody has to occupy it but yeah essentially the genie's been let out of the bottle I think that's accurate um, I'm hoping that there's not gonna be too many um, too many breakups of the protests um, but I think there's going to be a lot of those and there's going to be a lot more growth as a result of it. Like New York's going to get bigger, Austin's going to get bigger, Phoenix is going to get bigger, Miami's going to get bigger. Um, we're hoping for an overwhelming show of support from the people and just a kind of general wave of awareness being made and people boycotting more huge corporations, buying more from small businesses in general because we're empowered to do that as consumers. Not everybody realizes that. And so, um, you know, if at the very least I see a lot more support of local businesses and, and, and local people like among themselves kind of getting together and you know growing their own food and becoming more self-sustaining and not supporting this kind of machine that's been kind of taking over you know this kind of thing which is you know connection between person to person I think I don't know what else to say either I mean it is what it is look this is the occupation here in Miami it's beautiful love waking up here in camp and a lot of different problems that we're trying to come together to kind of talk about and and we don't want to we we don't want to um, you know 
make make one issue, you know, what we're what we're about or whatever. There's a lot of problems, and a lot of it spans from, you know, corporate control of, of the government and whatnot, and and so that's a that's like a big one that spans off into a bunch of different issues. You might call the symptoms of the disease, you know, so. So we come together and we talk, the point is unification, we're coming together and we're talking about these things, you know? And we recognize that there is a problem, we get together and we say like, what can we do, you know? And um, kind of a, bringing awareness to all of these different issues. In my experience, most of the only people who tend to, tend to hold an argument are people that are, are thinking like, oh, you know, you're not going to change anything. And there's this complacency with like, oh, well, you know, I'm be fine, you know, I've got something to eat or whatever, and a lot of them haven't been exposed to, like, the bottom end of things, and where, like, just here at Government Center, like, you know, just dozens and dozens of homeless people all over the place, and not, they don't have anywhere to go. And um, the only people who keep arguing with me are the ones that say, like, you think you're not going to change anything. Not get up and do something. Don't argue with us. You know, don't present problems, present solutions. Like, try to, try to be the change, and, and we all can do our own. Uh, things you know like to, to try to change what's going on and it really is true you have to be the change that you want to see in the world and and it, it only starts from within like you know there's a lot of things that you can do personally as a private citizen or a person or whatever to try to change things yourself and like that's that's when it becomes a problem when you're trying to hoard and when you're not allowing other people to to get what they need you know like I believe that that uh, having something to eat, you know, is a human right. Having a pla having shelter, you know, um, some people call it socialism, but, but but it's not socialism. Like it's just the belief that people have a right to eat something. Like you know, like just a w very basic things, you know, food and shelter. Like why can't everybody have food and shelter? It depends, and it's become dependent on you know the the, the people who who care and you know churches or whatnot organizations. Like the government should take care of that. You know, I believe that the government should make sure that everybody has food and everybody has shelter. And people, when you when you when your basic needs are taken care of, um, you start thinking about what's going on around you, and that's a normal thing. I think.